Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator where in the previous episode we were checking out the career mode as per the standard procedure for the series and we completed the Clean the Treehouse mission which is I think not only the biggest map in the game as of the time recording it's also the most money you can get off any one map so 1550 the next highest i think will be the fire station yes 1100 and then the skate park at 900 so yes took quite a while to clean that i think it was three or four episodes and we got a decent amount of money not that we can spend on anything but overall pretty happy with our progress in this episode we're going to clean uh let's have a look uh career mode and there we go clean the recreational vehicle it says in progress but that's just because i've loaded in and looked at it so it says doc we'd like to meet our Trusty RV. Trusty, more like Rusty, am I right? Ugh. Before we settled down at Estes, we travelled around the country chasing mysteries, doing our jobs, just bumbling around, really. One day we might be deep in a wood, the next we're travelling back at breakneck speed uh, along a country road, evading authorities. Interesting. Fugitives. All of which has taken its toll on our poor RV. Please give her the clean she deserves to reclaim her crown as queen of the open road. Let's just continue with the job and we'll see what we have to do. So a quick rundown through this thing. It is a very flat-sided RV with some graffiti on the side and what looks to be a hell of a lot of rust. We also most likely will need to go on top of the thing. So... Yeah, I'm just looking around and as you may imagine, the majority of this is metal. So I'm planning on cleaning all of the glass, all of the wheels, and even... No, I won't even clean the trim. Yeah, clean the ind indicators, clean the glass, and then maybe the wing mirrors, and then I'll do a full pass with just some cleaner. So let's crack it into it. So just want to say how grateful Jenny and I are for everything you've done for us. It really helped us get on our feet. No problem at all. Uh, we are getting paid, so I can't really, you know, <laughs> turn the job down at the end of the day. And you can see I'm just cleaning the... Cleaning... Oh, there's rust on this as well, is it? Right, I'm not going to... I'm not really too bothered about rust on the wing mirror because, well, as you may imagine, it's... Uh, Oh, that's going to be annoying. Uh, as you may imagine, it's uh, it's even though it's got rust on there, we'll be hitting with the cleaner anyway. So we're just doing the windows here, even though the windows, a lot of it, uh, yeah, these are classed as glass, even though we're doing the frames. There we are. I said these are going to be really annoying because if you notice, they're actually a little bit proud of the vehicle, which is, to be fair, standard, but... Uh, when I did that one there, I couldn't get to the top, so I had to jump a little bit. So, yeah, I'm hoping that's not going to be a, a big problem around this thing. So I'm just going to go underneath, give that a right good spray for the indicator. And there we are, and then it's that done. And we'll do the front indicator as well. There is rust on this. We'll take our time and get that done. And we'll get the wheel. And I'm actually just going to hit the tyre, really. My objective is just to clean the tyre. I don't care about the wheel, because we will get overspray. We'll get overspray when we're doing the van to clean up those dirty hubcaps. Which are, again, made of metal. Except there's also some graffiti on those wheels. Like some red bits that I noticed there. Here is. Um, underneath here, wow, big, well, that says underside, but it's all dirty. Let me go back to this. To the indicator. Get that clean. And all of this. I'm going to go on the roof before I hit it with the cleaner as well. So I want to see what state the roof is in. And also... What's on the roof? There might be AC units with plastic cowlings. There might be uh, like a sun roof of some kind. Anything like that. There's all of these we have to consider. So you can see the graffiti that's on there was like a like a wavy pattern, which as the wheel go around would be really quite interesting, quite mesmerising to look at. But they want it clean, so they get the full cleaning treatment here. And there we go. So let's just get it. Let's get it done. There we 
we go. And then this window. Oh. Also, obviously this door. Because there's no door on the other side. Can we get that there? Underneath. It's that wing mirror. See that though? It's classed as wing mirror, but it does have two different materials. So that's good. This headlight, similar thing. Even though we've cleaned the glass, we haven't cleaned the uh, we haven't cleaned the rest of it. That's no problem as long as the glass is clean. Anything that's metal is going to get a right good clean. Let me soak the rest of it. Oh, driving Miss Pebbles' uh, live streams flopped. The vans just won Esther, so we t sold the car for a lot. I mean, a lot. You I mean yes, we do supersize. Right, okay, we do supersize a lot. Apparently, they uh, sold the car that we cleaned. The one that was in the garage. The screen off as a metal. And I'm going to have to get up to the front of the van now. So I'm going to, for a start, pick this up. If it lets me, there we go. Put it there. And clean above that. That does need to be addressed. If you slide around if you're not directly standing on something. There's not much else I can really do with that. Mm, I might put that right there. Yeah, get that pretty clean. Right, let's go on top of the van. And as I expected, there is a vent up here, but it is classed as metal. Right, we are going to spend a lot of money, probably, on cleaner. Let's do it. Hitting the van. Not really being a. Uh, Oh, what on earth's happening there? Refill. Yeah, not really being a uh, very. Oh, that's a. There's a peace sign with a butterfly there, I think. Yeah, not being too careful. Like, trying to preserve every little bit. We are getting this van clean. And there's nothing it can do to stop us, apart from us running out of cleaner, which um, can, can actually happen. And um, probably will happen. But you can see that we're do making a nice, lovely job of most of this. Just refilling the liquid where necessary. That's 40%. We've raided the attic for all of Esther's old stuff and put it on the vlog. It's gonna go bananas, apparently. And... There's the roof clean. I'm going to switch over to... And that's what fascinated me by the most... Is, is the telemetry really getting into analytics? Oh, okay. Guy's talking about YouTube analytics and such. Oh, he's seeing YouTube. Get under there. And we're on 44% of this van. I know there's bits up here that need cleaning, so it's just classed as right body though, so we probably used to Tack it like that. See the here as well. Make sure that we don't have to come up here again, ideally. Actually, we'll, we'll if we have to. So I'm hoping we get the majority of stuff while we're here. Over here. Still a bit of rust there. Use the spiralizer nine million, but Let's stick to this. It's only a few bits that we haven't got. It's curious that we still haven't been able to clean that indicator because it's sort of recessed into the van. So I'll have to maybe attack it from up here.
quite etched in there. There we are. Just being on this angle here. Just done that. Nice. Right, let's hit the van with uh, some more cleaner. And it's just evaporating. All of the rust on this. And we're out of metal cleaner. And that's it. I don't think we can get any more metal cleaner. No, we can't. We are out of metal cleaner unless we can buy some more from the store because... No, no we can't. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> the reason we can't buy any more from the store is you... Even though you've got all this money, there's only a certain amount available. A certain amount of cleaner available. So we're going to have to go back to the manual way of doing this. And get all the dirt off, all the grime off. And then attack it with... Uh, basically this. That's where we did it previously, so that's where we're going to have to do it now. Getting inside the grill here. At the top of the grill. Back in the inside. All plasters grill. And in there. The outside. Still bits left. I mean, there's loads of bits left, to be honest. And that does clean, but it doesn't really shift everything. Lots of bits of it's remaining, I think. Okay, using the tab constantly to the way forward. So we can go underneath, get a different angle to get a new, new path. Yeah, there you go. New bits that haven't been touched. As soon as you're messing around with tiny details that you may not be able to get access to. There we go, there's that. Oh, I wish I had the metal cleaner now. <laughs> I don't think it would have really mattered. Is this... Are all, is all this rusty? No, it's not. So that could be a massive mistake on my part then. Using my metal cleaner to clean up the van. Where there isn't much rust. Like on the roof. Could have saved it for these bits. Oh well. It matters not really. Stick with this one actually. You can see on the roof there's still bits remaining. Jenny's changed too. Traded crypto zoology for cryptocurrency. The Litty Bitcoin looks to be the next big thing if you need a tip. Mm. Is it? Is crypto the way forward? People say it's more secure than standard regulated currency. Then again, all it takes is for uh, a multi-billionaire who owns a lot of things to tweet out at 3am and the, the price drops by 40% so yeah <laughs> not totally convinced so we're doing the left hand side the left hand body here um, try and get the wing there. that was easy Attack. all of that Spiralizer. Oh, yeah. Spiralizer is not bad actually for this. But that would go to say it's quite useful. Yeah. This is okay, this. As long as you take it steady. This spinny thing seems to work. 
Yeah, that's... That's cleaning. And obviously once we get to a certain percentage anyway, we'll get that lovely satisfying ting that we just heard there. I'm sure with cleaner, <laughs> it would have been a lot easier. But someone wasted all the cleaner on the roof, didn't they? Might have been me. Panel there was the problem. Yeah. Let's work on that one. See if you take it steady, it cleans up nicely. Very nice. Come under there, down. We've got all of those bits as well. Some of these aren't even rust, just little bits that I've missed. Oh, no one's there. If we go... Oh yeah, right underneath there. I think just be a bit more precise now. And any second... Should be done. Actually, you know, be right under here. Oh no, it's not. Plus his left body, yeah. Is there any bits that I've left on the roof? That's a big question. There we go. We got that ting noise. Okay, it's good from this side. Not bad. We'll clean the um We'll clean the bumper. You can see I'm using the spiralizer twelve thousand and a half million. Doing a marvellous job cleaning that bumper up. I went prone just to alter our attack stance. See, some of it is quite severely caked on. Some angles are better than others for this. That spiral is about the width of the bumper. Quite good. <laughs> Get a bit closer, why not? And there we are. But we know that there's a huge amount on each side of this bumper. Go around from the top now. This is missing. So I've missed a uh, a little bit on this side, and I think under here as well. There we go. That's good. That's good. 71%. I'm just going to pick this up and... Well, the front is fine. Um, also, the, oh, the windscreen, though, is in need of cleaning. And also, the windscreen wipers. So I'll just tack the, the windscreen wipers from both sides. One of them's done. So is the other one. And I'm going to go up here, and yeah, see all that? Those bits that I thought we'd have to uh, sort out, which we have. I'll leave the... I'll do the back, why not? It's called an adventure. And then let them jump on my. Why is that not playing? I don't know. I'm curious. I'm just gonna get a quick once over actually with the with the 20 degree. Uh, sorry, 40 degree. This is actually just to get all the dirt off. And it is just it is just dirt. 
some bits it's very hard to get into. Obviously because of where the ladder is as well. Every time you spray you think you're done and you're moving, there's that little section that you've missed again. <laughs> okay, there's the majority of that off. So we'll switch over to this. Light. There we go. Do the same on this side. See just how rusty some of these are. The spare wheel will get done. <laughs> that was nice and satisfying, that one. And there's bits I've missed out the other side. There we are. Just going to jump up top here because we've got these brake lights. I have a feeling that even the spiralizer. 27.5 million will not cut that. I'm going to have to pick the steps up, aren't I? And the steps will go down the middle. Stand on top of them. Really hasn't given as much advantage as it, if we're honest. It's not really done anything at all. i going to have to go up here. If I can just stand on the ladder without moving down, that would be brilliant. But no. At least you can't... Are you supposed to be able to use that as a ladder? It's not really... It doesn't feel like... No. It doesn't feel like you should be able to. So maybe you've got to precariously perch on the edge of this stuff. Just to get these lights. One more. Angles using the spiralizer. Yeah, there we go. Right. So, just getting this. A lot of the clean that we used, I think we used on the fire engine. We sort of give ourselves the almost the easy mode on that one. Yeah, yeah we're just going to use the <laughs> cleaner. That was very rusty, which you would sort of ex well, I was going to say sort of expect it being around so much um, water, but no, I wouldn't have expected, not from fire service, you'd think they would have their trucks meticulously maintained and cleaned and whatnot. In fact, I imagine if there's a fire house inspector, if there's such a thing. I'd imagine there would be the odd word said <laughs> if um yeah if they saw the state that was in. So I'm gonna clean under here. At the upshot of all this, we want you to have the RV. What? We're gonna get this RV. Wow. That's extremely generous of them. Can't have it sitting here idle. She's born for the open road. Oh, we can fit our cleaning stuff in. Set off like Easy Rider. Well, they had a bike. Yeah. See what the deal is, eh? Just cleaning the underside here. Uh, and I do have to do the underside. I'll go for the spiralizer. We've got a very quick 70%. And then just progress stopped as we ran out of cleaner. Which is sort of to be expected, I guess. And now this exhaust. And all this is metal. And in there. There we 
go. That's the underside. Um, for the rear body, then. A lot obviously is rust. Best we can here. Just getting a little bit. Window's not done either. Now it's done. I thought it might just be something like that. I'm gonna have to switch to the short extension on this one. This ah, this bit that I'm doing, this sort of checker plate section, is classed as the rear body. Right, okay. Yeah, and there you go. Straight away as soon as I got that, we got that ting noise. Let's just work on the bumper. And we have basically a flat side left. I notice this bumper is not as large as the one on the front. Interesting. Or maybe not. Depends how interested you are in bumpers really, doesn't it? Get a mouthful full of water. Nicely. Don't really know what to say, really, given getting this uh, nice vintage tour here. I mean, we're getting given it. It's very kind of them. I haven't really earned it. We've been paid for the jobs we've been doing. It's not as if we've been doing it in lieu of payment. But, you know, if they turn down a free free RV and all that. You know, unless it's stolen. Right, so it's just these bits then. I'm going to keep the spiralizer in hand to spiralize the rest of the hubcaps here. And there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing here. You know what? I'll hit it with this first. Get all that muck off. Working our way along. And then whatever's left will come back with a a more tenacious nozzle. Don't know if anthropomorphizing the <laughs> The nozzles is a good thing. Let me clean the door while we're at it here. Put around the door. Just the feet you there. And there you go. We have a to-do list. Wing mirror, hatches, times three in right body. Okay. I assume it's that wing mirror. It certainly is. Just say wing mirror, not mirrors, not plural. So, there we go, that's ticked. Uh, the hatches I was going to come back to. But while we're here, put around the hatches. The other hatches here, these have got rust on them. There we Just get all that off. And all this dirt. Most of the dirt I notice in the centre, if not all of it, is just standard like mud or well, dirt, in fact. Maybe a bit of grease here and there, but the rust is all mainly around the edges. Is that to be expected? I don't know. That hatch was easy. And that's the last bit of it, really. It is just that. 
98% cleaned. It's just these bits now. And it's a job for the spiralizer. It's going to miss lords, which is why I'm not a big... I'm not normally a big fan of it. I think maybe sticking with that is the way forward with the long nozzle. I see on that it's okay. But at distance it's just a little bit too squirrely for my liking. If we use it closer in, it seems not to be too bad. Ninety nine per cent. But you notice that the actual level of it, the little bar, just below it is right body, ironically on the left hand side, is uh, not that it's quite high up considering what we've got left to clean. So we will probably have to go back and clean all the little bits that we are missing out like up the top and underneath the wheel arches and such. Although realistically if we get this wheel arch done here and then the rust on there and the rust up there that hopefully will be the majority of this done. And we might even get it before then. But you go too quick <laughs> it completely the spiral completely misses bits out. But it's showing you that it is simulating that that spiral roll. Which is good. There we go. Hey FA, get yourself over very quick so you can uh agree as you can. We've got an urgent one for you, thanks. That's the Denver drill. And also I believe we have some new cleaning fluids. So Harper Shaw, Harper here. I just want to thank you again for gifting me the RV. I'm about to hit the road, heading for pastures unknown. She's so beautiful and so clean. I... darn it. I want to read that message. <laughs> Let's just have a look at this. There's the clean. We've cut in around the windows and then the front and then we went to the top and then that's where I ran out of cleaner and spent a lot of time on the other side of the van, then around the back and then on the left hand side and there you go. Uh, yes, yeah, so... I just want to thank you again for gifting me the RV. I'm about to hit the road, heading for passages unknown. She's so beautiful and so clean. I know you said not to, but I've sent some cash over. Maybe put it toward a washer upgrade. Take care, and I'll keep an eye out for anything interesting for jobs for you. You're the best. Excellent. And there's the messages. Good. Maybe you can take her on a job to other countries, or maybe you know someone on the lookout for one. So yeah, there we go. Continue. And, oh... Clean the fire helicopter. That crept up, didn't it? Okay, well, I'm going to buy all the cleaning fluids that I possibly can. Um, and I just bought loads of metal cleaner there. I think I bought three or four. So hopefully that can be used in anger when we are looking at the next mission, which is clean the fire helicopter. I won't go into it now because obviously a lot of reading, but that looks very detailed and very rusty, so... We shall see how we get on with that one. Another vehicle, but a welcome one at that, and a new type of thing. So, yeah, next episode we will have a look at the fire helicopter mission. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and for what it is the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.